Hey guys, it's Joe. I'm just doing a quick get ready with me because today we're going to be going to Disney Springs to see A Wrinkle in Time. I think it's the name of the movie. I've been wanting to see it. I just jumped out of the bathtub. I had a nice, long, relaxing bath because my anxiety levels are super high today. I, I don't know. It's one day I'm good, one day I'm not. I really don't get what's going on with me, why I'm under medication. I've been going to different doctors trying to figure out why the medication isn't working, what's happening. I just feel like nothing's working, guys. You know, I mean, like today, my symptoms today, and I get this um, symptom a lot where my skin feels like it's burning. And no matter what I do, nothing helps. You know, I just like I feel it in this spot here. You can tell it's kind of red here and I actually it looks like there's something there. I also get like hives. I don't know if you can see that right there. And I just feel like it's burning my skin's burning and so i'm scratching it and then i'm very lightheaded today like i continue to get these like spells where i feel like i'm gonna pass out at any minute so my first instant is always to just grab the camera and start talking see if i can distract myself i try to take a bath to see if that would help and then while i was in there and, and it's just like now it's like I'm out and like I said, my skin feels like it's burning and I just feel like really lightheaded. And it's just a weird, I don't know if any of you guys out there have anxiety as well and what your symptoms are. Comment down below if you have anxiety as well and what your symptoms are. Cause I have a lot of different symptoms. Sometimes I get, um, I don't know how you say it in English. Um, in Spanish it's calambre. That's when like, like when you're foot falls asleep and you got like this tingling feeling in the bottom of your foot i get that a lot my legs on the tip of my fingers when i go into panic mode which i haven't gone into like a full-blown panic attack in a while i do wake up sometimes with panic attacks when i'm sleeping and it's weird because the doctor says it's because you're relaxed so you know you're not being distracted and whatever i don't know what <laughs> but yeah sometimes i wake up with panic attacks but so yeah my fingers get numb when but what i was trying to say i just i'm losing track of what i'm saying as well which happens a lot but my hand i can't even focus on what i'm saying guys i <laughs> it's weird um when i get going to full-blown panic attack well, it starts at the bottom of my feet and it works its way up and it just feels like I can't stop it something's wrong the the first time it happened to me I, I I thought I was dying because I've never experienced anything like that before and I was like what the hell is happening what uh, you know why am I feeling this way and I literally thought I was dying if you haven't seen that video I'll put it up in the card so you guys can go check out my first uh, panic attack ever where I, I literally thought I was dying and I said my goodbyes I called my husband everything I was on the school bus nobody was on the bus thank God but the ambulance had to come get me because I didn't know what was wrong and I thought it was a heart attack or I just thought I was I was I thought it was night guys but you know it it starts at the bottom of my feet and I get that sleepy feeling but at the same time my body gets cramped up so as it works its way up everything where it's working its way up gets cramped up my toes curl in you know it just keeps coming keeps coming my tongue feels numb like I can't talk I feel like I have a lump in my throat my face gets numb I get tingling all over it gets to my fingers my hands get like this and you know I try to keep my nails short sometimes but my nails grow fast and I do like them long too and pretty they dig into my hands and so i'm just feeling like really like like this so if i if i keep like losing track of what i'm saying or not making any sense i'm sorry i'm really trying to distract myself i know you guys ain't really here with me i don't even know if i'm gonna post this i just feel better when i start talking for some reason why i kind of started my youtube channel as well kind of like for an outlet something to keep me entertained something to keep me busy you know something to keep me doing fun things that i like doing i love reading your comments 
So we're going to downtown Disney. Well, it's not downtown Disney anymore. They changed the name to Disney Springs. It used to be downtown Disney. So we're going to... Uh, <laughs> see, I just, I just said that, guys. I scare myself when this happens because I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm not making any sense what's going on. I feel like I'm losing my mind because I feel like I don't have control of um, my mind. When I start feeling like this, I feel like I don't have control. You know, I don't have control of what's going on. Even if I sit and do the breathing techniques that they've taught me, it does relax me, but I still, it doesn't make the symptoms go away. You know, it's like I still, my body's still trying to do whatever it is trying to do. And so I just don't understand because I thought anxiety or panic, you know, you have to be like super stressed. And to be honest with you right now, I kind of am. There's some things going on. You know, I'm not going to say yet what's going on because I don't know. I, I just don't want to speak it into existence. So I'm literally having like kind of like, like an anxiety attack while I'm talking to you guys. Because I am feeling very, very, very dizzy. I am... Um, not focus on what I'm saying. I don't know if you can tell that I'm just going from one story to another or I feel like I'm just losing track of what I'm saying and then I remember and I come back and it's just really weird. And my my tongue feels kind of numb. So I um I don't know, you guys get to kind of see what it is to kind of have an anxiety attack if you guys never experienced this a lot of my subscribers my friend subscribers out there my supporters out there tell me that they have anxiety as well and so you guys feel me my levels are really high they um, when i go and get my tests to see if i've improved or whatever they're usually on the higher end of anxiety oh, i i don't understand this freaking thing i don't i don't understand it and it frustrates me because i'm a very happy person i'm a very social person i like meeting people i like socializing i'm usually i don't want to like toot my own horn and be like i'm the life of the party but usually i'm the one that if i go somewhere and the party's not going good whatever i usually get up and start trying to get people to dance or or meet people and you can put me in a room of strangers and by the time i leave i know everybody and i'm like what's up see you later hey girl if you want to hook up let's let's you know let's do this so to have this freaking thing to have this anxiety this disorder you know it, it does frustrate me because i don't understand so let me continue to get ready while i'm talking i'm still using this guys i don't know i haven't really seen much of an improvement on my face it's supposed to fade dark spots but anyway um yeah so let me try to get, hurry up and get ready here and um, I want to go and have a good time. My, my daughter has a friend that's been sleeping over right now. They're on spring break here in Florida. I've been on medical leave since uh, December 4th. I'm really not sure if I'm going to go back. So I was supposed to go back to work on the 12th of March. But I had to go to the doctor and get a letter with no restrictions, get it approved that I can go back to work. And I went back to the doctor. She gave me some tests. She ran some tests on me. And uh, she was like, nope. You're not ready to go back to work. I can't let you drive a commercial vehicle, which is true. You know, I can't control when this happens. And a lot of the times it's gotten to the point where um, <clears throat> when I see a school bus, I, I go into panic as well. And I don't know why. I mean, well, I kind of know why. It, driving a school bus, I, I do love it. I, I love kids. I love, you know, I love kids. <laughs> Oh God, you see, <laughs> I love kids. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. I just feel like I'm just all over the place, you know, and I just can't control it. But, you know, I, I do love kids and I miss my babies on the bus. Let me just get ready here. I just, I don't know why I'm talking. I'm, I don't even know, you know, I just, I'm bored. I'm not used to not working. I'm not used to not doing anything. It's, it's kind of weird for me with them. My skin is itching, guys. All right, so I'm going to continue to get ready here. I'm going to focus, guys. I'm going to try to, oh, snap out of it. Snap out of it, Joe. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. So, um, I'm going to put a lot of makeup on today. 
I normally don't. I do for like my videos, my fun videos, or if I'm going out on a date. Even a date, I try to keep the makeup to a minimum, but I do like putting on makeup and, you know, make look pretty. And, you know, I've been playing and dabbling with makeup, but I do like more like the, the kind of cosplay, like you saw the Maleficent and the Pennywise. I'm going to be doing a Disney collab with um, another YouTuber. You know, you guys will be seeing that hopefully sometime in April. Let's continue to get ready here, guys. Okay. And get like my my dizzy spells come and go. So I am gonna put a little bit of primer on. Just because I'm gonna put like a BB cream on. Really like it. <laughs> this video's all over the place. I don't even know why I'm gonna put this video up, guys. Alright, so I changed, I put on my clothes. It's a little cool today, it's like 68 or something today. So I put on my clothes, I'm wearing this flannel, just some skinny jeans, and my pumas. And that is it. That is my look for today. My hair's a little frizzy today. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just a little, it's not cooperating with me, but I'm not going to continue to try to get this mop to work today. So, yeah, I'm just not feeling it today. So, it's just, just going to stay like this. I don't care. I'm done. <laughs>